Hey viewers. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Muralidhar Penjala. So here I am introducing the education system. That means what type of education system is? It's an engineering education system in different categories. To easy to understand. So what it means? So as you know that we know the dimension. Suppose if a particle you can see by using a single dimension, it's nothing but just we can able to understand only a, some sort of information. If you go for the second dimension it would leads to some other uh, categories like some features will be observed by, by us and go like you go for three and four and five and n dimensions it definitely it would be really looks very good so that's why that is the importance of the dimensions so him he is in this case i am introducing the indian system um, as a model in the form of a dimension system so let in this uh, particle or in this uh, context. I am introducing the engineering system as four dimensions, right? So what it contains? Let us wait for the discussions. Next, in the coming to the point of first dimension, what is the meaning of one dimension? That means since it contains four years of engineering education system, well, that means first dimension means it's nothing but say a simply an interfacing dimension. So what it contains? What it happens? So in this interfacing dimensions, so really it's nothing but uh, some sort of uh, interfacing what you studied uh, and in the mid school, primary school and secondary school and, and, and coming to the uh, intermediate level of information. So by acquiring this knowledge and you would able to go to the engineering system. So that's one dimension is acting as the interfacing dimensions. Let me call it as then what it contains actually since you are simply entering into the engineering system so in this it contains a fundamental subjects like physics and maths and chemistry and so on etc so what what you do what you do uh, to coming to going to the other device other dimensions like second and third and fourth dimensions so actually it, it, in this in this dimensions you would supposed to learn the fundamental subjects like physics and chemistry and maths. So by acquiring the knowledge of information from these, these subjects, in this it acting as a tools. That means it, these tools shape you what you studied in the preschools level and the secondary schools, uh, what you said in the extra in the uh, what you said in the uh, previously. So these fundamental tools will be useful for to act to lead you leads to the other dimensions this is the first dimension next coming to the second dimensions what is the meaning what it contains the dimension of two that means it contains core of engineering education system what is the meaning of core actually the core subjects like if you do go for mechanical it contains mechanical and in the electrical it contains electrical and so on it computers whatever you study it what you select by the student or he or she. So these, the second dimension is a core dimensions like we call. So in this core subject, just you study the content of the basic information of any engineering, what you select by the student. Then once it gets for thoroughly with the subjects, then automatically you, 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 you go to the, you go to the third dimension that is what is called as in my analogy methodology analogy so i am it's an enhancement dimension so what it contains enhancement dimensions means suppose you already the student learn the preschool level to the interfacing level so which interface uh, that interfacing level the the student would able to study and reach it to the particular secondary level that is core subject by modeling of these systems fundamentally using tools and whereas in the core subject you learn the entire system using these fundamental tools and coming to the enhancement level so what is what it does means means enhancement enhancement level means so actually in this enhancement level what you 
the, you, you model, so let we call the modeling of the subject. That means, so this, what, what you would be able to model the system means, so actually what it contains, actually in the uh, coming to the coming uh, earlier means followed systems are third, fourth dimension system. So in this fourth dimensions, what you able to do, what able to do means, so actually the what is the industry really requires and applications, those applications will be modeled by your what you acquired the knowledge from the first and second dimensions. So that's what it's called as, uh, uh, in my point of view, it's called as a enhancement dimensions. Okay. So that means it's a simply, it's a simple interfacing of these two dimensions, right? So you model the, your knowledge will be modeled to attract the, or to retrieve the information of the application industry. So that means that is how we able to, the student able to learn in the enhancement mode. Next, coming to the fourth dimension that is called as exposure dimension. So what it contains, what you do by the students in the ex exposure dimensions. So for in this case, actually all, what we discussed in the application level of industry. So what are the application level of the industry means? What you studied, what is the industry needs? That means your ready, readiness, right? That means you, you already model in the third dimension. So those model dimensions in the fourth is completely extract the information from the industry by interfering as an internship into the system. So this is what we called as a four years of four dimensions of engineering system. So in this completion of this lecture or some information, not lecture, information. So finally the conclusion is the knowledge leads to the service. What is the meaning of service? Service means it is readiness to the industry. That means which suits to the industry. Industry requires the readiness of the students. So this is how once you complete all this, if you, the student crosses these all four dimensions, then automatically it, the student will be ready, ready to do the work in the application. Thanks for watching. Thank you.